I'll be going over a continuity tester, how it works, and what I will use it for. On one side is a wire. At the end of the wire is a clip. And then on the opposite end is a probe. Every time there is continuity between the clip and the probe, the tester will light up. This type of fuse, usually when when they're blown, you could tell because there's a clear plastic plastic here. You could see you could see through it. But if you want confirmation, you could use the tester to test the fuse. It should light up because the fuse looks good. If the fuse was blown then the tester wouldn't light up. I gotta put a wire through here and out here. When you you don't ever wanna touch this to a power wire, the the clip and you don't ever want to touch the probe to a power wire. You want to make sure there's no power going to the wire. If there is power, then turn off the power. Turn off the power and check to make sure there's no power on the wire you're going to be testing. So. So if I wanted to see whether there's a break between between here and here, because I can't see this part of the wire, then I could use a continuity tester to check the wire. I'll just clip one in, and then if the tester light up, I'll know there's no there's no um, break between the between this part and that part. This time I'm gonna put three wire in here and then the three wire come out from here. There's time when the same color of wire will come out from one location and then the same wire will come out from a different location. And they're not color coded. They're all the same color, so you don't know which is which. And then I'm gonna show you how I. You could actually use this tester to identify the wire. The way I do it is this. I use these. I like to use these tape because they're easy to on. Uh, easy to remove. These are for painting. I think these are, these are called masking tape or painter's tape. I'll tape one of the wire. And then I'll clip it. And then to know which uh, to identify this wire from this other side, I'll start touching the wire with the probe. Whenever the tester light up, then I know it's this wire. Okay, so looks like it's this one. And then I'll tape it. 
it's not gonna be these two because these two are not gonna light up so this wire and this wire they're the same the same um, wire and you could do the same do the same thing to identify these other two wire if if needed what if from this part and this part what if the distance was like five feet I got three feet ruler and so if the distance between here and here is five feet then this this will be too short I bought some speakers many years ago and it came with these it came with these wire so I'm gonna assume these are speaker wires I didn't have any use for these wires until I started using this tester I'll be using speaker wires for this but you don't need to use speaker wires you could use wires like like this this is actually two wire together see there's two on one end in the other end there's two wire I'm only gonna use one of the wire one is copper the one is gold okay one is copper the other is silver copper silver I could pick either one. I'm gonna pick the copper. So on one end of the wire, I picked the, the copper wire. The reason I'm doing this is just because there's two wire together. If you only got one wire, then you don't need to be picking whether that one or that one so I gonna I gonna pick the copper wire I'll put it right next to this wire and then I gonna clip it together And then on the other end of the extension wire, I use copper on the I can on. I use the copper end on that one, so I can use the same copper end on this on this other end. I gonna to to extend the wire. I gonna clip it with the tester. Now I got a long wire. Just to show what I did, I clipped the extension wire to that wire, to this wire, the taped wire. And then there's the extension wire going back up the table. And then I clip the tester to the other end of the extension wire and then when I touch touch this on tape the wire is the light should light up 